Hi, this is Jordi V, and today I'm going to show you how to make a young lean type beat. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get right into it. So, I started this beat with this sample. Actually, it's uh, weirdly enough, it's a disco sample from a pack on Splice. I think this is a key when it comes. This is a key um, component and element when it comes to the song. It has a lot of layers. So, let's listen to it, and I will try to explain what we have so far. So if you listen closely, we have some chords, we have a top melody, we have a pad in the background, and at the end we have some kind of opera or a schwar kind of sound. So <clears throat> this is perfect because we don't need to do any processing on it. Actually, I just added some EQ to cut some of the low frequencies, some reverb. I used some, some half type to give it a little bit of a dramatic effect and add that sub layer to the sample. And finally, some RC20 to make it a bit like vintage. As you might see, I deactivated the noise. I have some wobble and some distortion here. I think the sample perfect. So once I had this, I wanted to add some extra melodic elements, but not go too crazy since we already have like three to four layers here with the sample. So once I had that, I um, used the Ableton Live um, conversion algorithm so i clicked on the sample and i clicked on melody conversion sorry it's in french here but i think you know the feature so once i did that it came up with the with the whole midi part for the sample it was not perfect but i kind of knew which notes were be playing so with that said, I've decided to get rid of most of the notes and I ended up with this. So we have like four notes basically. It's kind of a <clears throat> sub bass kind of layer, but I'm playing a pads on it. So for this, we have a serum. I have this preset called bad heat. I have some echo here. This is a preset. And I have some EQ at the end, so you can see most of the settings. If you want to copy that, maybe screenshot it or uh, like stop here and copy the patch. So let's listen to the pad. Let me solo this section. So nothing crazy, but I think it works amazing with the sample. What I really wish that I had with this sample is maybe a layer or another variation without that bird sound, because it's a little bit, a little bit annoying, but I think it works with the atmosphere. You can hear uh, the birds in the background. Anyway, so once I had that, I think with a young lean type of beat, you need to focus on the melodic elements. So the ambience, maybe create a lot of variation. What he generally does is like having two variation, maybe start the song with the pads and piano, later at the breakdown, switch to another kind of a melody idea, but within the same key. So. I've decided to do that. So starting on, I have this uh, pads and the sample. 
Later, I've decided to add my bass. So for the bass, I'm playing uh, these notes. We are in the key of D minor. I'm not playing the root um, note of each uh, chord. I've decided to layer it to make it feel more complicated. So I'm playing some variation in the key of D minor or the scale of D minor. So if we listen to our uh, bass, you can hear this uh, Moogie sub bass. And I'm using some sidechain compression to my cake. And here I'm filtering a little bit of the um, high frequency. If I get rid of, from, uh, of the EQ8, you can hear there is this um, harsh white noise that I dislike. So it depends on your preferences, but if you want that white noise within your track, you cannot uh, EQ it. But for me, I've decided to add this EQ8. Let's hear it within the context of the track. I really love the bass since especially this note, it adds a lot of um, kind of tension and here we are, we are, we have some kind of release and a simple pattern. So this is perfect for me. Once I had this, as I said, my main focus with this track was to get the melodic elements uh, straight or right. Once I've done that, I added some super boring or like simple drums. For the drums, you might want to go with the... Uh, some more uh, drum machine like drums add some effects on your hi-hats go crazy you're you are not supposed to follow um, a typical like uh, trap pattern so for this i have a kick and i have a snare here we are at 151 beats per minute once i had this uh, foundation i've decided to not like overthink it with the hi-hat so i've dropped a loop Again, nothing crazy. You can recreate this uh, easily. So you have some, uh, if you listen closely, you have some um, uh, closed hat and you have uh, this um, open hat here. And you have this rim shot playing on the off beat. And you have a fill or hi hat fill at the end. So it's super simple, but I, again, I didn't want to go crazy with the hi hats and lose um, the inspiration and the time. So I just dropped a sample, doesn't matter. So once I had this, let's listen to the whole um, first section, let's say, because I have a B side to it. And yeah, I have another um, reverse snare, reverse crash, sorry, to handle the transitions here. So let's listen to our track. Again, perfect. I have all I need. You need to leave some space for the rapper. I think we have enough melodic elements for, for now. So here, if I can rename here, we will be rhyming to break down here and maybe add another. Sorry about that. Let's call this intro. This is maybe, uh, let's call it verse one or idea one or whatever. This is the breakdown. And from here, we'll be introducing our um, verse two. You can do a total switch here. So like uh, switch idea B maybe. For this, I didn't do it. So I just um, strip it down some of the first ideas or the section A, and I added the top layer with the um, melody lead. So let's listen to our breakdown. Another thing, I've decided to reverse the sample here to add another variation and to make the song more complex and more interesting. So let's listen to the reverse variation. Perfect. If we listen to it within the context of the track with the pads.
And here we have our idea B. So for the idea B, I, um, we have a stripped down version of the idea A or the section A. And I've decided to add this lead. So let's listen to the lead on its own. Sorry. So we are in the key of D minor. What I did here, generally speaking, for my melody, I start with the pattern or the feel or the rhythmic part of it. So let's say we are here. So I will be going on one note. I will be going like this. Or just for the first four bar, I will do that. Once I have my rhythmic part, I will play with the pitch or the note of the um, of the MIDI note. Yeah, the pitch of the note. So we are in the key of D minor. So I've I've decided to add some variation here, some other notes, and you can see we have we have this part that is repeated again within the fifth bar. And once we have some kind of a call, we do response. So this is the call. Another call. The same idea, you can tweak it a bit to make it uh, more interesting. And this is the response. So yeah, I think it sounds amazing within the context of the track. Let's listen to it again. I also um, reintroduced the bass, the hi-hats and the snare again. That's it basically. So for uh, another thing I might uh, notice here, we have a serum patch here with the leads and I have this reverb intensity from Arturia. I really love this plugin. It's huge for reverb. I used to add some texture. So we have it on uh, infinity preset. I have some EQ8 to cut some of the high frequencies because they are a little bit harsh and to make it um, sits better within the mix. And I have some ping pong delay. So for the hi-hats, I have some EQ8 to cut some of the low frequencies and a auto pan to make it go from the left to the right again to make for better mixing. I already talked about my pads, my, um, my sample. So yeah, that's it for the track. I might need to add a little bit of like better mixing, better mastering, and yeah. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Actually, I wanted to show you maybe, um, uh, let's, maybe I will play another track I've made um, within the same style. And what is unfortunate for the second track, I don't have the, um, I forget to save my project. So I have an initial idea, but I don't have the final product. So let me play it. If I, it happens, um, da 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 da. Here's the beat. This is the second beat within the young clean subgenre, I guess.
So yeah, that's the basic gist of idea actually. Let me play this. Maybe I have this the final beat. No, that's another idea. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's it for the tutorial. If it happens that I find um, another project maybe within my Ableton Live backup, I will do another tutorial on uh, Young Lean type beats. I hope you learned something. Let me know in your in the comments if you want me to elaborate on something or you you have some question. And yeah, stay tuned. I will be trying to post more um, videos and peace.